Hi, thank you for taking the time to look at our video on aluminum paste for solar cells. My name is Patrick Boutard and I'm a product manager at Tartrig. When I visit customers, I get great feedback on these videos. I hope you pick up a few interesting facts that will help you differentiate and evaluate the dozen or so paste out there in the market. All the videos that follow have been provided by our partner, Giga Solar Materials Corporation, located in Taiwan. The first test is the tape test. The purpose of this test is to see how much aluminum powder gets picked up with a piece of scotch tape. Giga Solar uses a specific model tape from 3M with a tight specification and a strong adhesion. They do this test as part of their QA on every batch of paste, so repeatability is very important. Cell manufacturers typically use an ordinary office scotch tape. In this case, you should see less residue. The reason this test is done is to give an early indication on adhesion strength of the solar cell. With the 25 year lifetime spec on most solar modules, no one wants to see their solar cells move or lose their adhesion in the module. In this test, we measure the bowing of the solar cell. No bowing would mean that the cell is completely flat. After covering the whole back surface of the cell with paste, and firing it in the furnace, some stress is applied on the cell and a curvature is introduced. This bowing effect is undesired and must be kept to a minimum to avoid excessive cell breakage when the cells are manipulated to assemble solar modules. At GigaSolar, they have developed a laser-based system that measures the distance of the cell surface to the sensor when the cell is at rest and after a vacuum is applied. The delta in this case is less than 0.5 millimeters. This is certainly one area where a paste performs quite well relative to others. The next test is the hot water test. In my experience, not every customer feels the need to run this test. The purpose once again is to give an early indication of how the paste will perform when exposed to damp heat cycling for 1000 to 2000 hours from module qualification. Most customers are satisfied if the paste does not bubble when exposed to 70 degrees Celsius water for 10 minutes. Bubbling would indicate potential adhesion loss and movement of the cells during the lifetime of the module. We have paste optimized for more stringent hot water test condition should more performance be required. This is a straightforward IV test. Most of our customers see an increase in efficiency after switching to our paste. Along with bowing, this is another area that Giga Solar Paste does quite well. The Giga Solar Paste has a wide processing window. So to get optimal results, try slightly modifying your firing profile to increase your efficiency. In this step, we see an operator assembling mini modules or what some people call coupons for lamination. The coupons are composed of a solar cell, a piece of glass, some EVA encapsulant and a back sheet. We can see a bunch of coupons entering the laminator. The operator then unloads them so they can be used for damp heat temperature cycling. The coupons are also used for the following important test. That test is the adhesion test. A strip of one centimeter or 10 millimeters of back sheet is cut and inserted into an instrument that applies a peel force. Our leading paste must exceed four newtons of peel strength throughout the test. We have other paste that can tolerate up to 40 newtons of force should that be required. The screen here shows seven or eight, as you can see. I would like to thank our partner, Giga Solar Materials Corporation, for the footage in this video. They have an over 30% market share worldwide in aluminum paste and ship over 300 metric tons a month. Thanks for spending the time to look at this video. I hope you learned a thing or two. If you have any comments or questions, be sure to send it to us. If you like this video, please share it with your colleagues. Thank you.